I visited the center as well and uh, I saw the NIA and the NSG and the Kerala police teams were already there and uh, I certainly did not go inside but I we look forward to the results of their investigation. Apart from these two issues, I would certainly like to comment on Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan's press statements yesterday in response to what I had said yesterday and his characterization of me as a poison of communalism there is a Malayalam word for that Varagyeta inge Visham I was the first time I have heard myself being described like that I certainly want to respond to that and I want to respond, I want to clarify I certainly want to uh, respond to what the Honorable CM has said yesterday and let me start by saying and clearing for your information what I had said, what I have always said, what our party has always said that under Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan, Kerala has shown increasingly a tolerance towards radical elements and radicalization that whether it is in June 23's Alatur Kori Code attempt to burn a train which would have caused, God forbid, if he had succeeded, over 200, 300 deaths. And the characterization of that person as being mentally ill till it was revealed that he was, till investigation revealed that he was a Zakir Naik and ISIS sympathizer and that it was a deliberate attempt at terrorism. That is also in the history. And what I said is that there is a history of appeasement of radical elements by both the Congress and the left in Kerala. And I said this in the context of the Hamas chief being given an opportunity with no intervention by the government of Kerala or indeed the Kerala police to address a large gathering of youth and inciting them with radicalism and Hamas contrary to what Sri Munir says of the Indian Union Muslim League or what Swaraj says of the CPM is certainly a terror organization that has wrecked lives, raped women, killed children in the recent attacks on Israel and for that organization to be given an opportunity to radicalize our youth is the point that I made in my commentary yesterday in the backdrop of what repeatedly has been said about growing radicalization in Kerala and this turning a blind eye to radicalism approach of both the Congress and the left. To that the Chief Minister said I am a Vargya Vadi which is I am a communal I am spitting the poison of communalism. Nowhere in the message I had I mentioned any community. I had talked about Hamas and it is almost like the Chief Minister is trying to equate Hamas with the broader Muslim brothers and sisters of the state and the country. And so therefore I want to bring to your attention today, draw your attention to not just the history of appeasement that causes radicalism but also what Chief Minister and the CPM have done in the wake of this attack. And I will tell you how this exactly is what the Congress has done in the past. First, instead of dealing with the issue of this terror organization Hamas, they say we are communal. Same thing happened in 2611 
then they say it is an rss conspiracy to defame the government go back to 2611 after the 2611 terror attack a congress leader digvijay singh came out and said exactly the same thing this is not terrorism this is an rss conspiracy then they say that hamas is justified in violence which is normalizing terrorism and this is said by both swaraj of the cpm and mla swaraj of the cpm and munir of the indian union muslim league and this is okay according to the cpm and the congress but when we draw the attention to terrorism when we draw the attention to radicalization when we draw the attention to protecting our youth against radical elements we are communal we are the vargiyavadi so i want to through you pose some questions for you to ponder for the people in kerala to ponder when an organization like hamas is allowed to preach hatred and jihad in kerala it is free speech for chief minister pindrai vijay he is a hero <coughs> government of kerala will not do anything but we are communal we are the vargiyavadi the same chief minister will not hesitate to put a journalist behind bars when that journalist is exercising his article 19 constitution of free speech June 2023 a person attempts to put a train on fire in Kolikod Elathur the government of Kerala and the Kerala police say he is mentally ill it was not a terror attack then subsequent investigations show that it was a well planned zakir naik isis inspired attack and we are the vargiyavadi we are the communal chief minister and home minister pindrai vijayan is a hero 2016 onwards there has been repeated examples of people who have been radicalized in kerala going and joining isis joining joining taliban going to east syria going to afghanistan when we point that out that we must do more we must prevent our children from being radicalized we are communal and vargiyavadi chief minister and home minister pindrai vijayan is a hero there are many examples you don't have to be even 6 by 6 in vision to understand that for several years there has there has been a phenomenon of growing radicalization among some people in kerala to point out radicalization to point out terrorism to point out terror links is not vargiyavadi it is the duty of every citizen to help those to protect those children protect those youth from being radicalized but no pindrai vijayan would rather say when i have not mentioned anywhere in the last two days anything about any community and i said as is the position of our government and position of our party that innocents from all communities and faiths are the ones who bear the price of terror and appeasement that causes terror adin he turned that around yesterday and said i am spitting the poison of communalism i have much more deeper relationships amongst the muslim community the christian community the sikh community the parsi community the jain community and the buddhist community than pindrai vijayan will ever have and i challenge him to 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 decide who is more secular and who has more friends in the christian and minority communities in this country than and for him to call me vargiyavadi if there is one person who cannot be called vargiyavadi is me you cannot call me communal nor can we call this party communal yesterday almost like three people did not die 
and 50 people were not injured. There is a confession by a gentleman, Dominic Martin, who confesses to this crime. And for some people in the Congress and left, it is almost like a celebration. You see their tweets, you see their messages. We are not in a competition to blame anybody. We are here today as a responsible political organization who is committed to making sure that India is safe for all Indians. And that we want this to be a collective fight against radicalism. If this person, if a Kerala police who last investigated terror in Korikod in Calicut and for many days talked about a mental illness till the Maharashtra ATS investigation proved that this person is not mentally ill but was actually a Zakir Naik ISIS sympathizer, then only the Kerala police came back and admitted that it was a terror attack. If the Kerala police is in such a hurry to build this narrative before the NIA completes the investigation, before the NSG completes the investigation, fine. I have said yesterday that we are, should not prejudge any of this investigation. But this issue and the issue of growing radicalism, the issue of Hamas being given permission, just 10 days after they have killed so many people, with the government of Kerala and the Kerala police being silent, is the issue that I want to highlight. As I said today, this slogan of Vargiyavadi or communalism is increasingly being used by politicians of the INDI alliance. And I want to point out that in 2008 when Batla House happened, 2008 when 2611 happened, the Congress government was being supported by CPM and they did not speak one word during that attack, condemning anybody. The same INDI alliance, which is now the new name for UPA, today uses Vargiyavadi and communalism as a cover for either ineptness, corruption or appeasement. Otherwise, tell me, a home minister who holds the responsibility of law and order in the state is sitting in Delhi doing his politics when bombs are going off in Kochi, three people have died and 50 people are injured. If Pindraya Vijayan wants to hide behind accusations of Vargiyavadi and communalism every time, to cover his own ineptness as a Home Minister, cover his own corruption of his government, and cover his own appeasement politics that he has copied from the Congress, then I can only say that Vargiyavadi and communalism can no longer be a shield for your accountability of what you are doing as Chief Minister and Home Minister. In the, all of this, you will notice that the Congress has remained mysteriously silent. Why is the Congress not speaking out against radicalization? Why is the Congress not speaking out about Hamas chief being given an opportunity to speak and radicalize the youth of Kerala? This is a question I hope you will ask the Congress. The only response I got yesterday was one tweet from Haibi Eden, the Honorable MP, who said, Kashtam, that the minister does not have faith in NIA and Kerala police. I want to say very clearly to all of you, I have the greatest faith in the professionals of the Kerala police. I have the greatest faith in the professionals of NIA. But I do not have faith in the political leadership that manipulates the Kerala police, that ma manipulated it in Elthor, that have manipulated it in Trichur in 1997, that manipulated in 2016 when the ISIS went, and in September 23 when the ISIS Kerala module was busted. My lack of confidence, my political attack is on the Home Minister of the state, who is also the Chief Minister. And if the Home Minister is unable to do his function, and protect the people of Kalamasheri and Kerala, he should find somebody who is competent enough to be Home Minister and he can do full-time politics in Delhi 
he can do full time politics of the indi islands lastly jan i'll just say i'll repeat once to accuse me of vargyavadi to accuse me of being communal to accuse our party or our government of doing anything other than the, looking after the best interests of every indian is to be a liar and i am flat out telling him that he is a liar and he is using lies to cover up his ineptness he is using his lies lies to cover up his appeasement politics if not having links with the sdpi pfi and the hamas is the qualification for being called communal i am proud to say nobody in the bjp nor i have any linkages with sdpi pfi or the hamas but we certainly have strong relationships and strong presence and our outreach to all members of the community not only in kerala but all over the country so i will end with that